welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been gone for so long, but which I have to actually fill another testimonial for another friend. So um, stay tuned for those. They are coming. Um, I've been dealing with a little bit of like health issues. Um, so just bear with me. Um, but basically I'll find out soon what's going on. So don't worry about me. I'm okay. I've just been dealing with some stuff. So Anyways, I wanted to do a reading because it's been too long and I only have limited times to film and I only have about an hour to film and I really wanted to get this reading up for you guys. So basically what this reading is, is for Palladians. I'm going to do Palladians first, then Arcturians if I get a chance to. So, ooh, that was a terrible shuffle. <laughs> so, um, this is basically... Any time that you watch this, it'll pertain to you. If you're drawn to this video, these are the messages that you need to hear at this time. So you can watch this at any time. Anytime you're drawn to it, these are the messages that you need to hear. So this is an anytime reading. Basically, time is an illusion. And um, this is kind of like a series I'll be doing as time is, is an illusion readings or anytime readings. So keep that in mind when you're watching this. It doesn't have to be for a particular date. This is just for whenever you're watching it. I hope everyone's doing really, really good. I miss you guys so much. As soon as I'm feeling a little bit better, I will definitely do a live stream for you guys. I know you guys love those, and I've been getting a lot of questions about how I'm doing and <laughs> um, when I'm going to do a live stream, but don't worry, it's coming up soon. As soon as I'm better. Okay, so today I'm being drawn to pull a couple of different decks okay so I have the um, fairy tarot by Doreen Virtue I'm gonna go ahead this is a brand new spanking deck and I forgot a deck upstairs so I'll have to grab that one I have a Mayan Oracle that I've been really loving the cards for that so we'll see if I'm being drawn to pull from that Mayan Oracle um, I'll go grab it it looks like I am being drawn to go grab that one so give me just a second I'll be right back thank you guys for bearing with me so I was drawn to actually bringing down the moonology deck it's too hot to come upstairs so that's why I'm down here and I just recently got this as a gift from my husband I've been wanting for so long it's the Mayan Oracle it's um, a galactic galactic um, card deck so um, celestial galactic it's very high high vibrational um, high dimensional cards and they have great meanings to them so i am gonna pull so i am gonna pull a few cards from there as well so sorry i'm out of breath i literally just like <laughs> ran upstairs <laughs> and now i'm out of breath okay so what do the palladian star seeds need to know this time Oh, I have ego here and I was okay I was drawn to that one we're gonna pull that out pull one more card from here these are really slippery cards <laughs> oh and that one wanted to pop out you know what and this one I'm gonna read the bottom of the deck but let's see what we got here okay I'm gonna lay these out for you guys I hope you can see okay Maybe I should zoom you guys in. I don't know if I can though. Oh, that's okay. We will go ahead and read these anyways. Oh, that wants to be there. Okay. All right. So we have the High Priestess card, the Two of Autumn, Ego, the Sun, Ten of Winter, the World card, and Renewal. Bottom of the deck is King of Autumn. Okay, so I'm going to read this one first. It says, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going, everything going your way. Um, a good person or company to work for. Okay, so I feel, oh, gosh, what am I getting with this? I feel like you guys have been really dipping into like the elementals. Um, and not just because these are fairy cards, but because that was what I was drawn to as right upon gazing upon this card. I feel like you've been really drawn to the elementals 
you know, fairies, gnomes, all that stuff, maybe just like drawn to that kind of stuff. Um, but you guys know what is right to do. Um, you guys know who the good people are. You, you're very intuitive. You're very, you know, once you do something that you've been having inspired action to do, you go for it. And that's really, really good. So that's your energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the High Priestess here. Um, trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. So inspired action, what I was just talking about. Um, insights that come through meditation. I would highly recommend with this High Priestess card, like you are owning it. You are, I don't know if you can see that card. Sorry guys. So you are owning it, okay. You are owning it, which is really, really good. You're taking responsibility for yourself. You're really like taking back your power, but you're kind of questioning yourself at the same time. Um, really write down what comes through during your meditating. Because see here, she has a book. She has a book. So really, and it says write down what you're doing. Write down what you're doing when you're meditating. Like when you have downloads come through, really write those down and try to take inspired action on those. I'm guilty of this too. I have so many videos to film you guys. It's like uncanny. And then, you know, I haven't been feeling good. So when timing is right, it will be right. So you just kind of have to trust the universe, but act, take inspired action and really see what comes through through your downloads. You're probably receiving a ton of downloads right now because it's that primal type. The world card wants me to talk. Okay. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So you could be completing something right now. Um, you could just be taking a hold of like what feels like the world at the moment because you're really understanding this unity consciousness of where everyone's connected. Um, you are having also maybe success coming your way or the success in knowing that you have the freedom to do anything that you want. So inspired action and really writing down what comes through during meditation will really help you. Um, let's see, we have, I'm, I'm being drawn to these two cards. So we have the two of autumn and the 10 of winter. So it's saying bring fun into everything that you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs, an exceptional talent for multitasking. So you guys are probably really good multitaskers, but make sure that you're taking time for yourselves because I feel like a lot of Palladians, like they feel so entitled to share their knowledge with the world that sometimes they kind of neglect themselves. I know I do this. I'm guilty of this. Um, but make sure you're bringing the fun to everything that you do, even your jobs. So even like your priori priorities and jobs, like make it a game almost. Like, see how much stuff I can get done in 10 minutes or just bring a fun aspect to it. You know what I mean? Maybe put on like some tunes if you have to do laundry or let's say that you have to do a certain thing for a customer. Like, make it fun. Like, have a fun conversation while the customer is waiting. Let them partake in that. You know what I mean? Raise their vibration. That's what you're here to do. So bring fun into everything that you do no matter what it is. That's just a gentle reminder. Then we have the 10 of winter. So it says the resolution of difficulties, um, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. Okay, so you may have been codependent on somebody, but this is showing an end to that. Um, you may have had some self-sabotage addictions. It's showing like this is just a huge weight being left, lifted off your shoulders. Um, you're going to have the resolution of difficulties come through meditation. This is why it's important to reflect during meditation and really write down your the things that you want to, you know, take action on what's like really light what's really um drawing you to take action to it because if you just trust that and write it down this will really help you this is going to show you those resolutions the next steps that you need to take they will come to you ask your higher self say a prayer of protection ask your higher self your your higher dimensional being guides your <laughs> palladian guardians everything like ask them they will help you really ask and write down what comes through to you because they will show you. Um, this was funny too because it said um, the f a journey that is now complete here and it's saying the end of an addiction or codependency. So this could have been that journey that's now ended and completed and you're better off anyways. But everything that happens to you is meant to happen to you. That's your path. That's your soul growth. So just know that. Like have appreciation for everything, the goods and the bads. 
because the bads also help you grow more. So have appreciation for those things. What am I being drawn to? Renewal. So we have the renewal card. You're reviewing the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future, okay? You're planning it out. <laughs> You're writing it out like you're really gaining your power back. It's a sense of renewal because you've ended this journey. You've ended this process. You've ended this burden that was upon you. And now you're having this renewal come through. Um, you're really reviewing the past and the present. You're doing shadow work, but you're also repairing future timelines. You're planning them out. You're repairing them. You're excited because you can imagine everything that you're going to be doing. You see it. You know what I mean? You already see it. Um, you're understanding your life's purpose. That's beautiful. And you're releasing judgments about yourself and others. You're like really like the unity consciousness that I was speaking of before. Like you understand that everyone is connected. And so the things that you're going through, other people are going through as well. So don't be so hard on yourself. Be more gentle and caring towards yourself because it's okay. We all deal with these ups and downs. We all deal with the same feelings, you know, even the lower vibrational ones. Like, it's okay. Like, bring light to those things. Bring light to your shadow aspects. Like, bring light to everything because that's what you are. You're a being of light. And this human experience is, is meant to help us grow. We chose it for a reason. So just know that. Um, I'm being drawn to the sun card, okay? Plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards, okay? So you're going to have tons of ideas coming through during meditation. So make sure to take inspired action when you feel the timing is right. Sometimes the timing won't be right, and that is okay. But when you feel the timing is right, go for it. Go for it because this is in alignment with what you truly desire. Um, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, Gratitude for the blessings of life. Okay, so yeah, you're really like celebrating your life. You're really getting into the same tune of gratitude when it comes to everything around you. You're kind of really, not only are you looking in the past and the future, but you're also looking at the present. Like you're trying to stay in the present moment and you're trying to stay grateful for everything. And that's really, really good because you have full awareness. You have full awareness of your past timelines, your future timelines, and also the now. Like you don't get lost in either aspect. You have that balance, the yin and the yang, and you're able to anchor it down to the present moment and really... Um, I see you, like, not just because it's summer, but I see you outside a lot in the sun. I feel like a lot of people right now, because of the eclipses and everything that has been going on, we've gotten so many downloads from the sun. Um, we've been working with flowers, or we've been grateful for the nature that surrounds us. Um, but I feel like a lot of people have been getting downloads from the sun, and it's helping us to upgrade. It's helping us, our DNA, to become improved and to upgrade and to get us to that next level where we need to be. I feel like when you're meditating, you might also be meditating in the sunshine. Even if you're not laying out directly in it, if you're just going for a walk outside or walking the dog or just even just sitting outside being grounded in the grass, I feel like you intuitively know that you're gaining these downloads. You probably have already seen visions, messages. So make sure you're writing these things down so you don't forget them because they are going to provide answers to you and help you. And they are also repairing your DNA and helping you upgrade your DNA. So that's really, really powerful and I've been experiencing this too so that's that helps me feel like I'm not alone as well that's really nice and reassuring we have the ego card okay the ego the illusion of being trapped placing too much importance on material items getting caught up in fear and worry so don't worry okay I know easier said than done but know that you're not trapped like this this is so contradictory because it said where was that one The freedom, you know, okay? <laughs> this is you going back and forth, okay? Between the world and the ego. You have the freedom to go in any direction. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. But you have the freedom to go in any direction. And here, you have this illusion, which is all in your mind, of being trapped. You're not trapped. You're a multidimensional being. You can go in and out of dimensions. <laughs> you can go to past and future timelines and repair things. You can bring healing to every aspect of your life. And you aren't trapped. That's just the limited mind frame, the infrastructure that you have that you're placing too much importance on things that don't matter and not enough on the things that do matter per se. Um, I know you're 
you're just constantly having to, this is almost like the subconscious mind. Like you're just trying to, you're working on retraining your subconscious mind. Um, maybe you've been listening to positive affirmations, um, subliminal messages at night, meditations. This is going to help you because we all have this though. You know, we all have these things where we go back and forth. Like we feel good here and we have gratitude here, but then, you know, fear and doubt start to creep up and then we start to worry. But know that this is all an illusion. Everything's an illusion. You're a multidimensional being. You just chose to come down here to anchor your higher vibration to help raise humanity. So know that you think you're like trapped in this human form. You're not. Like you're a multidimensional being. Don't place too much importance on things that do not matter. Don't get caught up in fear and worry. Okay? Because worry doesn't do the body any good. It just kind of stresses us out for no reason. And you don't have to worry. Like everything is good. Like everything is good. Everything is coming to fruition. You know, it really is because these cards are speaking it right here. Okay. It's okay. Let's see what else. I'm going to pull one card from here. Then we're going to pull a Moonology card and end with the Mayan Oracle. I don't know why I can shuffle some cards so great and then other cards I just struggle. Like <laughs> the struggle. So glad I was able to film something for you guys. <laughs> I haven't been able to like actually get on camera because I've been having like swelling above my eyes and to figure out what's going on with that. I feel like I want to pull one more card. It's telling me to pull one more card. And it's just going to come out. That's what it's saying. It's just going to come out. Know that, like, what you're doing here isn't a simple task either. Like... Give yourself some credit. Be easy on yourself, gentle towards yourself, because what you are trying to accomplish here on this earth at this time is not an easy task. <laughs> I mean, if it were all rainbows and butterflies and super easy, like we would have moved on, we would have passed on already onto the next <laughs> series of lessons. So you're doing okay, is what they're telling me. You're doing okay. Like, Stop being so hard on yourself. You're doing okay. You're doing everything okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just read these all because it's, it's telling me to. Home, you've been missing home. You've been missing home so much. Okay, and it's okay but also recognize that you're here to, to do all this beautiful stuff for the collective, for the animals on the planet, the everything. You're raising the vibration. It's okay to miss home, but like, don't miss it. Don't miss it too much because you're here to accomplish things. This is a lot of cards. I wasn't expecting all these to come out, so I'm just gonna go over them pretty quickly. Let's see. Commitment in the reverse. So there's something that you've been meaning to commit to and I'm hearing life's purpose and you've been kind of putting stuff on the back burner and you're a healer. You're a healer. So you need to embrace that. I hear like experiment on friends and family because you're a healer and you've been failing to meet this commitment. Some of you, this is a general reading, but I feel like most of you are healers because of this card. You're supposed to spread love. You're here to spread love. You've been putting some of this stuff that you've been meaning to do on the back burner. We're all guilty of this. Trust me. <laughs> me especially. But um, you can do this, guys. This is what you're here to do. Stuck in the mud. You've been stuck in the mud because this is in the reverse. Okay, I feel like you're just now, because this was in the reverse, you're falling out of the mud is what I'm getting here. You're starting to come out of the mud. So that's good. You're, you're going to start doing the things that you've been meaning to do. That's good. Let's see here. Making a choice, even failing to make a choice with something and a commitment, supposedly. 
Okay, but you're starting to come out of the mud, so you will be making a choice. You will be making a choice. Um, right now, you've been seeking solitude, and that's okay. There's a lot of like things happening astrologically, stuff with the moon coming up here on the 16th and 17th of this month in July 2019. If you're not watching this, it does, it's okay. It doesn't have to be for July 2019, but you're seeking solitude right now and you're pondering on making a choice, but don't worry, this choice will be made because you're coming out of this mud. Bone collector. Hmm. Nothing is set in stone is what I'm hearing. Nothing is set in stone. Like you're, you feel certain things have to be set in stone, but they don't have to be set in stone. Let me read this one because this one is confusing me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay, so when you get this card, it's asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. So you really working on this subconscious, like, subliminal messaging reprogramming for your subconscious mind is really really going to help you to take care of you obsessing with the past it's going to really relieve your mind of all the worry having to do with your past um feelings of unworthiness or without courage seeing yourself as flawed or unlovable expecting criticism. It's really asking you to take your um, power back and act as if you have everything that you already have because this will help you manifest it. And this is in the upright, so that's what it means. Okay. The wounds of the past do not define you. Okay? So you're healing the past, okay? But also make sure you're focusing on the present and know that you are enough. You're more than enough. Okay, the next slew of cards that flew out were follow the leader following the leader the leader the leader we're following the leader wherever he may go okay i don't know why that song just like flew out through my head but i have a two-year-old so there's that but um i feel like you are the leader and following the leader also means following your higher self your higher dimensional beings and i feel like you are doing this and if you haven't already you will be beginning to shortly but i feel like everyone looks up to you and this is because you're a star seed and you're enlightened okay people will start following you and so just have the confidence in knowing that you are enough and so that way you can reach out to more people and spread your love where's that card that way you can flip this in the upright <laughs> it spread your love reach out your hand See all the hearts? You're spreading your light. Your light right there. Ooh, I didn't mean to flick you off. <laughs> your light and your love. Okay, so follow your path. Follow your higher purpose. Have faith in knowing that you are enough because you are. Okay. Okay, so I see these two are go hand in hand. The storm fields and heal the ouch. So you're creating this kind of like anxiety worry storm in your mind and it's all from the past you need to heal these wounds from the past heal the ouch like heal yourself you have the power to heal yourself and don't let it get out of control because it need not be like you're a multi powerful dimensional being you have the power to heal yourself so focus on healing these past wounds but don't dwell in the past Bring in your higher self. Bring in your higher dimensional beings. Focus on healing yourself, but also focus on staying in the present in the now moment because that in itself heals the, heals the past is what I'm hearing. And by doing this, you will be receiving peaks of joy. You will feel free like this woman in the air. You'll be having these peaks of joy coming up here. So take note of those. What are you doing when you feel these peaks of joy? What are you thinking about? What are you expressing? And act more on those because this will really, really help you. I had way too much coffee. I'm like shaking. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but this will help you. You're going to have peaks of joy. So just, just know that. Okay. Let's see. A moon card and then my. Take time to breathe out. 
Take time to breathe. Disseminating moon. Take time to breathe. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. Oh yeah, here. Your dreams need a practical plan. So make sure you're writing down what comes through to you. This is the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. I know some of my spiritual friends on here are Tauruses, so this might <laughs> vibe with you. You might have some Taurus in your natal chart. You might not though, so don't focus on that. But I feel like you're bringing down this like earthly grounded energy though. And it's helping you put to action the practicality of what you're trying to do, what you're trying to bring on this planet. Not the practicality, because who wants that? <laughs> dream, imagine, like go for it, like go into different realms. But your dreams need written down and following through when you feel the timing is right. So take inspired action when you feel the timing is right, because they aren't coming through for no reason. Your dreams are coming through to help the earth. Okay, let's see. <laughs> be bold and make the first move okay the cardinal moon be bold and make the first move baby steps you guys work with the moon work with the moon too you know Let's see what else comes through for you oh a fiery climax approaches I feel like this is what's gonna like boom you off into that creative energy that you've been lacking with you're gonna get more more of a instantaneous like inspired action um idea and you're gonna go through it and it's really gonna come to fruition for you because you're taking the first step and you're writing it down and you're bringing you're grounding it um you're grounding your dreams and your imagination you're grounding all of that here on this realm bring love into the situation bring love into the situation you may be a water sign an air sign that doesn't really matter but um this is the new moon in aquarius but bring love i think <laughs> the age of aquarius everything's love you guys everything's love love unites us all so bring love to whatever it is that you're looking to do you can't fail with that oh what was that card that i just luck is on your side luck is on your side beautiful luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius so luck is on your side. This is like an eclipse card almost. If you kind of look at it, that's kind of cool. We have an eclipse coming up July 16th. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> and this is the last card. Don't let your past hold you back. Wow, synchronicity. Okay, don't let your past hold you back. South node. And it's saying you're very close to achieving your goal. So you're very, very close, you guys. There's like a breakthrough coming. There's a breakthrough coming. So, and know that you're good enough because that was the card right below that. Know you're good enough. Let's see, see that. Earth angels. Know you're good enough. Because you are. Full moon of Virgo. All right, so now I'm gonna pull a mine card for you guys. Maybe. Here. Come on, card, cooperate. These are very, very high frequency cards. So we are just going to pull one or two from here. What needs to be expressed, and the meanings are very long for these two. So bear with me. But I have faith that what you Palladian star seeds need to hear will come through will be expressed and it will feel right. It will just feel right. Yeah, you guys are definitely doing a lot of self work and that's really good because that heals the collective as you know. These messages might just be reiterations of what you already know because you guys are very highly knowledgeable, advanced beings, highly intuitive, You're very smart. And that's very loving, very healing. What do the Palladian star seeds need to know at this time? 
Ben and Con. Ben and Con. So we'll see what these mean. Shadow Wisdom, I just turned to the magic child. Wow, very synchronistic. Okay, so qualities are fluid reference points, time space traveler, Skywalker, angelic messenger, pillars of heaven, courage, new directions, mysterious journey, and compassion. Your symbols are quartz crystal flight and heart chakra. Your number is 13, universal movement, color sunset pink, Herbs, almond, everlasting clove, flower, pink rose, flower essence, silver sword, <laughs> spiritual awakening. Scents are rose, rose geranium, stones, kunzite, rose quartz, pink sapphire, star rose quartz, element is earth, direction is east, shadow wisdom, desire for isolation, withdrawal or retreat, fear of the unknown, limited reference points or oversensitivity. Shadow transformation is explore your growth edges by directly facing challenges. Draw the light of courage and compassion into yourself and radiate it towards others. So synchronistic. <laughs> Look at life as a sacred journey. Yes. Harmonic wisdom is balance. Bring balance to everything that you do. What we were talking about. Mudra. Put hands overhead a few inches apart, forming pillars. Then move up and down from head to heart as if creating a column of energy through you. Beautiful. Your meditation is to say, I am struck, I'm, I am a struck bell. Once struck, there is no return. May the light of love that I am spill into the lives of all I touch, touch, <laughs> and be harvested infinitely. Beautiful. Affirmation, I am a pillar of the invisible temple that brings heaven to earth. <laughs> the discoverer. Oh, wow. This is, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so be sensitive to a major shift in the way you perceive and relate to your world. Old points of reference are changing. Watch for openings and opportunities. Have the courage to take risks. As you experience your growth edges, the places where you feel unsure and unfamiliar will be willing to journey into the unknown. In this mysterious place, changing references points create a quantum leap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're definitely doing some interdimensional traveler here and you're growing, and you're holding on to, like, huge magic inside of yourselves. A mysterious journey awaits you, the messenger of light, where you have the courage to step into a new reality. And you're definitely working on some aspects of your shadow self here. Um, access your courage and feel your way through any processes that may appear difficult and uncomfortable. Um, you are touched by the angelic messenger who offers you unconditional strength and courage to venture into the unknown. You have the tendency to be a hermit, withdraw from the world. Um, let's see. Do you spend a great deal of time in isolation or in meditative, artist, artistic, or fantasy pursuits? Do you have difficulty coping with the seemingly abrasive edges of the everyday world? This is natural. Um, it's a contrast between the light. So, um, yeah, the solution, draw even more light into yourself. As it radiates from you, it will naturally color your world with compassion. Share your light through love and surface. service. You can't go wrong with that. That's beautiful. And then we'll read Khan really quick, just um, because I know this is long enough already. <laughs> but I'm guessing you guys probably want to hear these messages, so that's good. Khan. Um, seeding manifestation. Okay, seed. Quality seed. Starseed, seeding manifestations, fertile ground creation, gestation, pattering of the light, opening possibility, erupting, covenance, initiation, creative ideas. This is your pattern of growth. You're the fertile site, you're the fertile soil and the mystery blooms within you. The power of your intention, intention or seed thoughts. So definitely seed those things you've been envisioning for the world. Opening your heart to the possibilities of your heart's dream emerging. 
your true desires and dreams contain an innate intelligence that can break through even the rigidity of fixed expectations. Planting a new seed, even in the hard soil of old belief systems, can bring unexpected mass messaging growth. I'm hearing healing the masses. I'm hearing healing the masses. So once you start integrating this, once you start healing yourself, you are healing the masses. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So that is the end of your reading, you guys. I want to show you these two cards and see if they resonate with you. I'm so sorry for the lighting. But I feel like you were kind of polaric here. White and black. But I feel like here you're blending things. You're healing. You're mending these two aspects together. Fluidity. And you're becoming the light more and more. Because you were working on this dark self and now you're merging the two aspects together and it's a very natural process for you you do it with your higher self your higher dimensional beings and it's it's happening and this is going to create a breakthrough for you guys the more you heal with love and bring healing to yourself the more you'll be able to love others and this will bring you abundance and love everything you want that's amazing. All right, Palladian star seeds. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Remember, whenever you're drawn to this, it's the right time that you're meant to hear these messages, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.